Welcome students in my new tutorial based upon Adobe Photoshop and today I'll be teaching you how to make a chocolate in your favorite software Photoshop. So for making a chocolate directly what you have to do you have to go to your tools and from here you have to select rectangular mark your tool okay so just click upon this I'm taking the blank canvas okay and this is the layer one and earlier also I have told you that you have to click on F7 if it is not shown to you it is a kind of a toggle button so again I'll click F7 function key from the keyboard and you are here with this layers tools okay so now you have to make one scare so I made one scare after making the scare you could see it is something like this this I have already taught you if you are new to my channel and you are seeing this tutorial first time you can just go to the playlist the link I will share at the bottom and from there you can just see the other tutorials based upon Adobe Photoshop so now I'll select paint bucket tool from here and after clicking on paint bucket tool the shortcut is always G you have to just select the color brown color the color of the chocolate suppose it is something like this dark brown and from here I'll click on ok and then simply I'll just color it it's something like this now then after doing this you have to press ctrl D to deselect this selection so I'll just press ctrl D to deselect so it is something like this a simple block now this is layer 1 I'll rename it as I'll write here bar 1 bar L okay I'll give the re I'll rename it as bar and then I'll right click it and after right clicking it I'll just go to blending option this I have already taught you in my previous tutorial also when I was teaching you about text so I'll go to blending options after going to blending options you could see here layer style and from the layer style I'll click on bevel and emboss and from here uh, I'll just go this side yes now I think you will have an idea what I am wanting to do inner bevel I'll select already I have selected inner bevel technique so hard I don't want smooth let it be then depth okay it's okay it's looking something here better size so this is okay this is okay for me the size is okay for me yes then soften you can just soft the uh, edges you could see here the difference how it looks like so I'll go for 2 for me 2 is okay and then from here the shading option is there you can just change the shading actually it just you see what are the changes you can do with the shading for me this is okay I'll just see 67 okay this is okay for me 61 or I can just little bit I can increase 65 are this is okay for me then from here you could see here opacity uh, from here you can control the opacity this is okay and where shadow mode is there multiply uh, I'll just try to change the color from here because my chocolate is brown I just want to change the color. I don't want this blackish part from here. So I'll just make it to brown. Uh, this appears okay for me. I'll click on okay. And then I can have a control upon the opacity. Uh, this appears okay. This opacity also I'll see. Uh, this is okay for me. Now only one thing is left because chocolate is not that much smooth I want to have some kind of texture on that 
so firstly i'll use contour i click it upon contour option then range i'll just try to see okay this is okay for me this is okay then texture texture i'll click here you could see here plenty of texture when you click on textures from the texture elements you could see plenty of textures so i'll prefer this one by default and then from here you have the control suppose scale i'm just decreasing the scale and depth you have the control upon the depth just little bit you have to just see okay so for me this is okay this appears okay for me means you have to play with scale okay so this is okay for me i'll click on okay so okay one bar is been made now i have to type some text on the top of this bar chocolate bar so i'll write here cadbury uh, for that i have to select the text from here this i already i have taught you in my previous tutorial so i'll select here horizontal type tool and uh, somewhere here uh, i'll select here i'll type here cadbury so the brown color only the same i'll take from here little darker i'll just try to take from color picker okay and then somewhere here i'll type here okay i'll just i'll just type here cadbury and then i just want to change the style of the text that means i just want to change the font and just for that i'll go there where fonts are there and uh, i'll just try to select some the better one little stylish with i'll do just little changes from here this one is okay ah uh, this one is okay for me so i'll just select this and i'll make it little bold it's something like this although it is little bigger so afterwards i'll make it smaller and uh, now what i have to do i have to go to layers then right click it here see you should be very careful that this text should be selected now this is the text layer i'll right click it i'll go to blending from here also i have to go to blending and then from here again the bevel and emboss now here little bit change is there again emboss i'll select here and uh, okay the depth and uh, here it should be down now little bit uh, just for have a fair idea i'll just move it after for moving it i'll just move it here something like this i'll make it little smaller uh, for that you can use control t i have taught you just to have an idea how it looks like then i can have full control upon this okay little more smaller now now to have a fair idea about for this i'll select both both these layers now these are both the layers and then after selecting both the layers i'll just move it just i am moving it so that i can show you the effect side by side okay now i have moved my bar this side now i'll select cadbury that means the text layer go to blending options now i'll do the changes bevel and emboss and then according to that i'll see what amount of depth i need size see i think it's coming in the shape depth i think you are getting the idea how it how it's looking like soften i think soften i'll use one i'll just try ah uh, this is okay for me and then uh in shading i'll just unclick this global light 
because they what the global light is it is doing it is affecting the whole uh, the color of everything that means of the chocolate also so i'll just click upon this use global okay and then again depth i want to just have a look size i'll just see one because you have to just play with this wherever it appears better to you you can use that okay angle here also you will see where it is looking at this one is okay for me 62 then altitude i'll just see where it's looking better so this appears okay for me and uh, this shadow mode by default if it is giving black it will look something like this then uh, you can just do the changes from here also you can make it to brown so that will look good it will it will merge with the background opacity you can have a control and wherever it feels fit for you i am using 85 okay so i'll click on okay for me this is okay it's some it's looking something like this then again i'll use control t and be sure your text layer should be selected then control t and then what you will do when this it is it is something like this the your cursor is something like this in rounded shape you just like make it like this okay although it can be in that position also it solely depends upon your need the way you want to present and then press enter so your one bar is ready and if i'll move see only one thing is been moving why because this these are two layers two separate layers just to move both the things so what you have to do either you have to click both the layers like suppose i am selecting this layer with the help of shift key i'll select this second layer also now both the layers are selected now i'll move it and i'll make it little smaller control t so both the layers are getting smaller now uh, this is okay for me now and even you can make the groups so what you will do because both are selected at the bottom you will see this option create a new group i'll just click upon this and every layer that means whichever layers i'll select it will go in the new group so i'll rename it as chocolate now if i'll open it you could see the layers inside so this making a folder is a best option if you have multiple layers inside now you have to make the duplicates it's very easy how to make the duplicate suppose i'll move it uh, what you have to do you have to press the alt key a l t alt key and if i'll do it you will see only one layer is been moving why not so what you have to do inside uh, that means that group chocolate group that means the folder group again you select both the layers both the layers are selected now you have to press alt key and the arrow is something like this i'll show you that means it is ready to copy and just drag it something like this here also just drag it here also just drag it and now your chocolate is being ready so isn't it easy you can easily make your chocolate and of course you can give it one to me also so i hope today you have learned how to make the bars and by joining all the bars you are able to make a chocolate nice chocolate realistic chocolate and i have also taught you how to make the groups and inside a group just see now in the layers only one group is been shown so it's not a messy interface easily you can make groups and inside the groups corresponding layers can be inserted so with this i am com completing my tutorial if anything is not clear please comment at the bottom and if you and if you like my explanation please do like share and comment and do subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed it earlier okay bye bye take care
meet you soon in my next tutorial